Tell us, I want to know if I've never seen you before, if I'm the audience, but I have, if I've never seen you before, talk to me about your path to get here. Damn. <laughs> Where do I begin? It quick, quick. <laughs> Girl, it can't take, it can't, it can't be so quick because it's been a long, long, beautiful journey. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I think the, the best way that I can sum it up is that I've tried to enjoy this journey this entire time. I've done a lot of off-Broadway. I've done a lot of free theater. I've done a lot of theater. I, you know, just did two Broadway plays in the last two years. Um, I had no idea that this is where I was going to be, but what I did know was that I had to enjoy the journey and had to enjoy every single moment, whether it be like small or large, like whatever that is, like every moment was a moment for me to absorb because I was doing what I loved. Good for you. Now, talk to us about working with Boots. Ooh. How was that vision in general, just being able to do that? I mean, he is, I just was saying, he's like one of the most, most boldest, beautifulest creatives that I've ever worked with. Um, he's an activist, he's a storyteller, he's a musician, he's a filmmaker, a, a, among a, many other things, a dope father. Like, he's just really a special, special guy. And um, let me tell you, if he wanted to work with me, I'm like, well, for real? You want to work with me, bro? Like, wow. I mean, that's that's an honor in itself. So, I mean, working with him was a dream, to, really, to be very honest with you. It was an absolute dream. It was something that I had been, you know, meditating on ever since I saw Sorry to Bother You. Um, so this is all like, I'm kind of like, wake me up, pinch me hard, because I don't know where I'm at right now. <laughs> now, what's your vision in the sense of this show and how people would perceive it? Well, you know, I think this is about the liberation of all of of all oppressed people globally. I think this is about people understanding the way systems work. I think that there are characters in place that represent beautiful metaphors into our society. Um, but I also think that there's so much to take away. There's so much to grab. There's so much. There's so many lessons to learn. And I don't even know what is lessons, but true realizations. I think there's so many messages that shift the consciousness of humanity and what it really means to be together in a space. What it really means to be human in a space. You know, Kuri is this beautiful big guy, right? <laughs> big giant. But at the same time. What really is important is that he's human. And I think that that reminder throughout the entire series is one of the most powerful ones. But there's so many things to grab. There's so many things to, to take, you know? And people will lean in where they lean in, you know? Yeah. Do you feel like making him a 13-foot black man was a metaphor for how black men are seen in this world? Many, many different kind of metaphors. I mm -hmm. think that there's, for some, for some reason, there's never one answer for me. Okay. I do think that the 13 foot tall black man would, would put fear in a lot of people's hearts, but why? Yeah. But why? Yeah. He's a gentle giant. He's a very gentle giant. And, you know, I also think that there's, you know, there's, it's it's deeper than it's deeper than him just being a big guy. Mm -hmm. um, he has a heart. Yeah. And it's again, it's for us to really look into each other's eyes. Yeah. Like I'm looking into yours yeah. right now and really realizing that you're a human standing in front of me. I'm a human standing in front of you, and that our hearts are beating just the same. Mm -hmm. You know. Beautifully said. That was so great. I mean, the way she, you answer, you're so well spoken. Wow, I, I thank can't. Because I'm so over here like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you are so so well spoken. It's, I think, I think with, with what you said, I think for the night you've kind of explained everything, for anyone who hasn't seen the trailer and know what the show is about. I think it's beautifully, beautifully said. I think if you have any interest, yeah, go yeah. and see. You know, yeah. because you don't know what you're going to absorb. Well, the show is called I'm a Virgo, so now I'm really, really curious because of the way you're speaking. Yeah. What's your sign? <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> so you fit the traits? You know, <laughs> people tell me that I do. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. You know. Okay. <laughs> well, no. Yeah, I do. I think yeah. I do. All I think right. I fit the size. But I, I do believe in the horoscopes, yeah, yeah. but I don't know enough about it to really be like, gotcha. oh, what are you? Yeah. Oh, what are you, though? I'm a Taurus. Word. Yeah. <laughs> see, and I have, see, I actually have a lot of friends with a Taurus. Yeah, Taurus, yes. I think I fit it. I fit I it. I think you fit it. Super lawyer. Uh, loyal. loyal. Yeah, loyal. no, I, I got you, boo. Super loyal, uh, <laughs> but also very stubborn. Mm -hmm. Very hard headed. That's why we have the horns. That's right. But I will die for you. So word. Yeah. Wait, I'm the archer, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes so much sense. <laughs> there you go. It's Olivia. Well, I'm so excited to see you on the show. So thank you so much for sharing thank you so much. your words with us. It was lovely and.